happy day and welcome to the season in Solas Homestead. Please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. You never know what you're going to find. There's a lot to see, a lot to look, hopefully even laugh. As you can see, the water hyacinths, I mean, look at the growth on that. They are so happy and healthy. Oh, and by the way, this is, for people that don't know, an update on a laundromat uh, wastewater filter. I'm in the process of calibrating living water hyacinths. It could be used basically to filter any type of water you want it. It's an incredible plant, invasive in some areas, but it dies out here. And for this application in a closed loop system, I don't see it being a problem. Uh, we finished up our Tide bottle. I put about a cup in about an hour ago, and this is the only suds that were left after a day of uh, three doses of soap, about a half a cup. We've got basically none to zero overflowing. Just those little foamy, teeny bite. I'm sure there's not much in there. The only issue I saw uh, was this. So this area, right after you um, feed it the soap, it got a little foamy. Check out some of our other videos. And these are the only water hyacinths that seem a little hurt. Their roots aren't dead, but compared to the other guys, you can almost see, like this side was the bubble. There's no roots. And this side, the bubbles were not. And you could see there's new baby roots growing. So I just moved them out of the bubbles and maybe that's something I'm gonna have to incorporate in the final design before installation. Uh, maybe in this area, there'll be some sort of diffuser or a wall that can hold back any little suds. Uh, so it protects the water hyacinths, but they're doing incredible. It looks like I fertilized them. It's a closed loop system. The only thing I used and put added to this system was the water hyacinths, the bottom of a, a sediment filter that was running off of our aquaponics center. Whoa, 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 whoa. And a closed loop water system. Heating the water is essential. Uh, this can work, I would say, or it could stay alive up to about 52 degrees, the water. But once you start dropping below, you're not getting any really digesting uh, abilities. Uh, so, 60s are a must if you really want it working. But if you really want to get it cranking, you want to be in the 70s. Not only will it supercharge the growth of the water hyacinths, but whatever that bacteria is or enzyme or whatever grows in there to digest the soap, it, 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 it'll activate much stronger. I actually like sevens. So I was keeping it on 77 now and it seems to it's really good. Right now it's 47 degrees inside the greenhouse. I forgot to turn on the heater and it was just the water running. So. As long as the water's warm, it should go good. And when they're installed in the laundromat, they're gonna have some uh, high intensity AC infinity grow lights over them. So instead of only eight to 12 hours of sun, they're gonna be, I'm gonna put them under a constant 20 hours of sun and just give them a four hour nap. It's always good to give your plants, if you're growing under lights, just a short period of uh, sleep. It helps balance the hormones in the plant and I think it's just a nice thing. So, don't forget to subscribe, come on back. Uh, we're finished with the tide. We're going to go with game and just monitor the system. And I have another 100 plant water hyacinths. Once they come, we'll fill this all up and it should be installation day. And then we'll keep you posted and do a really cool video on that and see how it's working and transforming uh, the dirty water in our laundromat. Have a fantastic day.